So when you want to share your beautiful Figma design with others uh, to give you feedback or with engineers that need to implement it, um, there are usually a couple of familiar ways to do so. The first one is to click the share button and copy a link. Now let's look at what this link looks like because we're going to be looking at the URLs uh, quite frequently in this video. And you see that it sends a link to a specific node ID, 0%3A1. If I go to the second page and I click the share and I copy the share link again, you will see that I get a different node ID. So the node is the element that I want to share. And in this case, the node is the page. Previously, we got the node ID of page one and 1%3A24 is the ID of page two. So we learned now that the share button, this copy link actually shares a link to the specific page that I'm viewing. Uh, another common way to share your work is to share a link to an artboard. It's actually, it's called a frame in Figma, but I, I'll keep calling it an artboard because I want to differentiate it from frames within an artboard. Uh, so I can right click an artboard, let's say like artboard C, let's call it D so it will be clear. Uh, I right click the artboard and click copy link. And now if we look at this link, it's the same structure of URL with a node ID, but this time the node is an artboard. And you can see that the node, this artboard is being centered and highlighted so that the person who is getting this link knows exactly where to put their attention. Uh, an interesting thing to note is that um, you can also share links to artboards with this, sorry, to frames within your artboards within your top level frames. So let's look at this green rectangle. You see that it's, it's a standard rectangle, so I don't have a way to copy uh, a link to it. But if I make a frame out of it, you see that it's now a frame, I can copy a link to it. And again, let's see what that looks like. You see it's, it highlights and centers that specific frame. Uh, that also works for groups. So like this image is a group. I can also copy a link to a group, but again, not for standard items, which are not a group or not a frame. Now, if you're using the browser version of Figma and not the desktop app, uh, you will actually see that the URL keeps changing uh, to reflect what it is that you're looking at or selecting. So now I'm on page one, I get this node ID, and when I switch to page two, I get the node ID of page two. And if I'm selecting an artboard frame, I get the uh, node ID of that artboard. So basically all I need to do is copy this URL and share it. And I don't really need to use this share, uh, this copy link or this checkbox. Now, the reason I wanted to differentiate between artboards and frames is because that doesn't work for frames within frames. So again, I'm on artboard B and I see the URL here changes to reflect artboard B. But if I'm selecting this frame, it still shows me the node ID of frame B. Uh, so um, while I can still share a deep link to these frames, it's not reflected in the URL. Okay, so this is all nice, but I wanna show you a couple of uh, less familiar sharing options, uh, which are revision sharing and viewport. And the reason they're less familiar in my opinion is because Figma does not provide an easy way to discover these, uh, but I think they are extremely valuable still. Let's take a look at uh, version sharing first. As you can see, I 
made a couple of changes and paused the video uh, for a while uh, so that I'll have some kind of a version history of the file. Uh, one of the greatest features of Figma is that you can share the design file itself and you don't need to export anything or upload it to anywhere. Uh, but this comes with a cost because the links that you share are links to a design that keeps changing and sometimes it's hard for partners, especially engineers, when they need to keep chasing a moving target and they don't know like what is the actual design that you are referring to in your links or documents, etc. Um, and versions in Figma are immutable snapshots of your design. Uh, and basically you can share an immutable version and keep working uh, knowing that the link that you share will not change. You can get to those uh, to the version history from file show version history. Unfortunately, there is no keyboard shortcut for this option, so it becomes a bit of a hassle to share an immutable version. So you see here, these are versions that are created from autosave and I can also create my own version. There is actually a keyboard shortcut to create versions as I work. And when I create a new version, I can give it a name, unlike autosave versions. So let's say I want to go back to this version and this is what I want to share. Uh, and if I click the share button and I copy the link, uh, you will see the URL that is familiar to us and that is a simple sharing of, of a node, but this is the blue sun. This is the, the latest version. It's not the version that I wanted to share. So, Heads up, do not use the share button from here if you want to share a specific uh, version. Uh, but you will see that the URL actually keeps, it adds a version ID to the URL. So if I'm sharing this URL, if I just copy the URL and share it, it will take me to the correct ver uh, version. Another way to do it is to right click or use this overflow menu and select copy link and that link will include the version ID in the URL, just like what we saw here. But what if I want to share uh, a link to a specific artboard in history, just like we saw earlier? Because the, this URL leads me to a page, this is the node ID of a page but I want to share a link to artboard B, for example. Again, in history, so not in history, but to uh, an immutable version of artboard B. Uh, and as you can see, the cursor is a hand, but I cannot make any changes here because again, it's an immutable version. Um, so how do I do that? The thing is that Figma does not support it um, uh, properly uh, and you need to kind of hack your way into doing this. Uh, so if you, for example, if you right click, you can still right click and if you right click and click copy link, you will see that this, li this link does not have version ID, it only has node ID, so it takes me to the latest version of this artboard and not the one in history. I consider this to be a bug. But note what happened when I right click uh, this artboard B, do you see that B is now selected? I can do it for A, I can do it for B. I'm ignoring this menu, but just note how this is selected. You will also see that the node ID here is changing accordingly. So if I'm right clicking B, it ends with A9. And if I'm right clicking A, it ends with A8. So if I want to share a link even to this, I think it will work, this red disk, which is a frame, I right click it. No, it doesn't work. But if I want to share a link to Artboard B, I just right click it and it gets this node ID. And now that I have both the node ID and the version ID, it takes me to Artboard B of that immutable version. That's one nice hack. Um, 
another way to hack it to, to show you the uh, right revision, let's go back to the, uh, to the current revision, to the latest, like the working version of this file. And let's say that I want to share a link to this uh, frame. Oh, well, actually, it's not a frame. Oops. This is a frame. So I copy the link to this frame just like we saw before. There's nothing surprising here. But if I now go back to the version history, I can copy the version ID from here and add it here. Now, I don't know if you're familiar with the URL structure, but when you're adding query uh, like parameters to the uh, URL, the first one has a question mark in the beginning, and then the, the following ones have an end, an ampersand. So it doesn't matter in which order I put it, but as long as there is a node ID and a version ID, it should take me to that specific you see that this square is now centered. Um, it took me to that specific node in this specific revision. Uh, so again, two hacks. One of them is uh, in the revision history, in the version history to right click the artboard so that it is selected and then I can copy the URL from here or to take any um, artboard from the existing from the current design from the latest version and add the version ID to the URL. Both of them are probably like unofficial ways to do so, but it still works. So that was uh, version sharing and I promised to also talk about viewports. So let's say that uh, uh, I want to draw someone's attention to this tip of this building, this shape. So I want them to take a look at this specific tip and like, I don't know, I want to sh show them, tell them something about this kind of like thin yellow line or something. How do I share that specific view that I'm seeing? So for this, I'll need to use the app version of Figma and surprise, surprise, they have some differences. I always thought that it's like a web browser within a container, but apparently there is a difference. So let's take a look. This is the app version. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the version, ver version history, even though it's not related to versions, and I'll go to the latest um, the latest version, which is basically what I see here, even though this is an immutable version, it's not the current one, it's the last saved one. And now I'm going to zoom in to see this tip of the building that I wanted to share. If I now copy the link and I'll go back to the browser, ta -da! Do you see that on top of the version ID and node ID that we saw before, there is now something called viewport, which is like kind of coordinates or something in the document. So I can actually, by going to the version history, I can send someone to a specific viewport. Now it doesn't have to, it doesn't have to be a link to the version history. I can delete the version ID here Oops. Sorry, delete the version ID and the ampersand following it. And it will take me to the latest version, like the live document, but with the same viewport. Okay, this is the latest document that I can edit. It's not an immutable revision, but the viewport is the same. Again, I'm pretty sure that Figma did not plan for it. I don't see a reason why it would work one way in the app and another way in the browser. 
but it's um, it's an option that might help you again draw their attention to something. One common way, to, common um, use of this is if you want to share two artboards. Let's say that you have many versions. You're kind of iterating and playing, and you have many artboards, uh, and you want someone to just take a look at these two. So you can put it like this. Again, I'll need to do it on the up version. And I'll zoom on, maybe I'll take these aside for a second so that the viewport will be cleaner. Okay, and this is what I want to share. Again, I go back to the version history, take the latest immute. Oh. Yeah, so what I need to do now is actually create a new revision because uh, Figma did not autosave yet. So Command Alt S and I'll give it a name, whatever. And now I can go back to the version history and I will have this immutable revision and now I can copy a link to it and send it to someone in the browser and again I can remove the version ID from here because if I want to share the latest one and it still focuses the view on these two artboards that I wanted to share. So those are my hacks about advanced sharing. Again, to recap, uh, we're talking about um, the basic sharing of a page or an artboard or even a frame within an artboard. Then I talked about uh, sharing a version history and a couple of hacks on how to say how to share a link to a specific artboards an immutable version of a specific artboard and the last thing we saw is how to use the app version of Figma to get the viewport as part of your URL so that you can share a specific view of your entire canvas Thanks for watching.